All right, team, we got another wonderful alphabetical principle question. And this is from an Illinois exam, one of the new Illinois exams. This is a great one. Um, we're going to be looking at using the alphabetical principle to practice decoding and encoding. And let me just clarify what that is. If I give you a CVC word, right, like cat, uh, if we're talking about decoding that word, that means we're going to be taking these letters and using that and using the alphabetical principle to uh, pronounce the word. So I uh, hear that that C goes with the predictable C sound. That A letter goes with the A sound, the short A. That T goes with the T sound, right? So here we're going to be decoding the word. We're going to be taking it in print and we're going to be using the alphabetical principle to match it up with predictable sounds to decode it. And then encoding would be the opposite. We would have an end. So this is this is involving decoding, right? Where we use the alphabetical principle. Encoding would be would be the opposite, where we would take a word in oral language, like cat, and we would use our awareness of the alphabetical principle to be like, what what letter is in the cuh sound? I hear this this cuh. I could put a K here. Oh, that's got to be a K. And I hear an A. Ah, uh, I hear an ah sound, that's got to be uh, A. And I hear a T sound, that's got to be uh, T. Now, now here, when we do encoding in the alphabetical principle, right? Yes, the word might not be perfectly spelt correctly, but it's spelt phonetically, and that's okay. The alphabetical principle allows helps beginner uh, writers um, match up sounds with phonetically spelt words, right? They're taking a, they're taking a word, and they're spelling it out phonetically. They're matching up those sounds that they hear with um, uh, spelling patterns uh, using the alphabetical principle. So that's a long way of saying, let's read this question. Everyone take a minute and read this one to yourself, go. And unread. Do you like these questions, team? I think it's awesome that you get a chance to do questions from all over. On the East Coast, the West Coast, uh, South, we got we got questions from California, Massachusetts, Texas, Illinois, Ohio. We're all over the place because Pearson is doing these exams all over the place. You need to widen your gaze. You might learn a lot from looking at some of these other exams. All right. It says here, a first grade teacher. So first grade. It's a little bit more advanced than uh, than kindergarten, right? So, so first grade uh, um, alphabetical principle may be more focused on like encoding activities and, and more like decoding activities. It's a little bit more advanced, okay? All right, so let's keep going. A first grade teacher helps students to learn to write simple words, so a little bit more advanced, encoding, at the same time that they are first learning to recognize words in print, a little bit of decoding. This practice is most likely to promote the student's reading development by reinforcing what? Well, these simple words, let's just say these simple words are CVC words, right? Let's just, just say that that's going to be our simple word. So what is the, what, what are they doing? They're practicing encoding these words. That means spelling these words and recognizing these words in print. So what are they, they're practicing going back and forth with letter, sound, correspondence, right? So is this an inferential comprehension thing, meaning we're reading in between the lines to, to understand uh, the motives of a character? No. <laughs> Cross that one up, right? Or, or, or understand the, the uh, motives or opinions of an author? No, we're not, we're not doing that, right? So let's cross that one off. How about this one? Does it have to do with word structure? Like, are we looking at the prefix, the, the base, the suffix of a word? No, that's not, that's not this scenario. Is it uh, using our prior knowledge to construct meaning? Is it about schema? No, it is not. So this activity uh, of taking simple words and, and practicing decoding and encoding them, that would be something where we're building off and using our knowledge of the alphabetical principle. Thumbs up. Who got that? You get that? Yeah? Yeah? Don't you like doing these other questions? You might just find this might help you. 
And this one right here, this test right here, the uh, 222, it gives you a nice description of the, the correct answer, why it's B. So the answer is B, team. You can go to that test, the Illinois 222. You can look at the, uh, the, the section uh, with all the practice exams, and, um, and it will give you an explanation, and it will help you reinforce the alphabetical principle, okay? All right, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going, team.